Gaming and headphones. Let's talk about it. What's cracking, everyone? My name is Ryan, AKA Skeeb23, and this is my audio and tech channel. So gaming and headphones, that means we are gonna talk about the Harmonic Dyne Zeus. Now, I have had the Zeus for over a year now, and they are a perfectly fantastic headphone, really, really good for gaming, really, really good for listening to music as well, and I'm gonna tell you all about it today. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the accessory package of the Zeus, because quite honestly, it's pretty impressive. We're gonna first start with this monstrosity of a Pelican case. No, it really wasn't that heavy. Uh, but I've already got it opened up here so I can kind of show you just how that looks inside. You know, there's a nice little box that had the cables in it, uh, the serial number for it, spot for the Zeus headphone itself. Um, I guess if you wanted to do some heavy traveling with the Zeus, you absolutely could do so with the Pelican case. The cable uh, is also very, very good. Good length, um, no issues with kinking or anything like that. Terminates to three and a half mil, uh, terminates the other side by three and a half mil. Also has a 4.4 Pentagon on there as well for balanced, at least this cable did. Um, and then of course you can get adapters for that uh, if you need something different for your single-ended um, requirements for your amp. Uh, but I will say, you know, thumbs up to Harmonic Dine Zeus for actually including a really good cable from a manufacturer. Um, a lot of manufacturers don't do that, <clears throat> Focal, uh, but it is nice to see from a company like Harmonic Dine Zeus that is, uh, or from Harmonic Dine that does include a nice cable. And then of course, we're gonna get to the headphone themselves. And the Zeus is a really nice uh, looking headphone to me. I mean, this is a $350 headphone um, and it has wood cups. Uh, it's got some wood around the bands here on this part, if I can show you. Um, and yes, like I said, that is wood there on the cups. Um, there is a lot of plastic in this, there's metal. Uh, very easy to identify the left and right ear cups, sorry, on the inside there, left and right. Um, the pads are really nice, uh, not memory foam, but they're plush, very cushiony. Uh, these are the pads I talked about on my headphone stand video that uh, did compress a little bit on the yoga block, so I don't keep these on the yoga block for that reason, uh, but they're perfectly fine now. And honestly, for being over a year old, I mean, this is my Zeus headphone. This was a daily driver for months and months for me. Um, I still go back to it now and then because I do enjoy gaming and these have held up extremely well. Um, the adjustment mechanism on here is pretty easy to adjust. Um, does kind of slip out if you're not too careful, uh, but not while just wearing them, if you're just pulling them too hard, something like that. Um, as I said, cables three and a half mil on there, and then I'm gonna cover my face so you can kind of focus in on the grill here. Okay, so the grill of the Zeus, in my opinion, this is a really slick looking headphone. I like it. I think it's a, a very nice looking when it comes to that. Um, the headband pad cushiony, uh, I have seen some reports of people complaining about hot spots in their head from the headband because it's not really thick. Um, I haven't had that issue personally. What I did have an issue with is sometimes when I wear it, when you pull it off your head, it does grab your hair. Not all the time, but when it does it, it is obviously annoying. Um, and then the last thing I would say around the build quality is just, you can hear that, a little rickety. Uh, but for $350 and for holding up as well as it did over time, uh, honestly, the rickettiness is the only complaint I'm gonna have about these. It's got full cup swivel, which is awesome. So I can just set these down on the desk if I'm getting up or put them back on the headphone stand either way. Um, but build quality and comfort of the Zeus for me was great. Uh, they are also, as far as weight goes, I don't have the exact measurement. I can pop that up there for you, but they're not heavy. Uh, not to me anyway, I can wear them hours at a time and be perfectly fine, no fatigue. All right, so let's move on to sound. So I am going to kind of quickly go through the uh, frequency response of the Zeus. I would say this is, uh, to me, a, um, a V-shaped type sound. I almost said Z, I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's a Zeus. It's a V-shaped type sound. Um, some would even call it more like an M-shaped because you do get um, some drop off in the bass extension under 100 Hertz, I would say. Uh, but then it picks up in the mid bass drops back down a little bit, uh, somewhere in the mid-range, picks back up again. I know that sounds wonky, but for gaming, for movie listening and things like that, it actually sounds really good. You get rumble out of this headphone, uh, which not everybody's gonna like rumble, and it's not 
a bad rumble, I would say, but for games, man, that's fantastic. Going into the mid-range, uh, the mid-range, I'd say, is fairly good with the Zeus. Um, no major issues there. Some songs, some vocalists can be a little pushed back. And then when we go into the treble side of things, I don't find the Zeus to be sibilant at all or anything like that. Um, you know, some songs that can be more sibilant, you're going to hear, you know, some of that spiciness in them, um, some of that peakiness in them with the Zeus. But there's definitely some air there as well. So kind of sliding past treble right into soundstage, talking about the airiness of them. Yeah, they have decent soundstage. That's why I recommend them for gaming. Um, and live performances, things like that sound really good. It's kind of a soundstage, I would say, that's kind of wide and front behind, um, not so much above and below, um, if that kind of makes sense. But at least to me, that's how I heard it. Uh, but I think the Zeus sounds very, very good on that aspect. And then the last thing I would say around sound with imaging uh, is that the imaging is also really, really good. And so that's going to bring me to the other main point of this uh, video around the Zeus, and that's, you know, gaming. Um, these sound really, really good with gaming. Uh, I have been listening to them. Um, like I said, I got them over a year ago. I think at the time I was playing Monster Hunter World which is a game that definitely has some roar, some jumps at you and things like that. And uh, these definitely did that for me. They sounded fantastic uh, playing that game. Also played Ark Survival Evolved, uh, another game that's just like that when it comes to Monster Hunter World. That sounded really good. Played Borderlands 3. Um, explosions and things just sound awesome on this headphone. Um, I even tried uh, Subnautica. I think uh, DMS actually recommended listening to these, playing that game, so I thought I'd try it out. Uh, yeah, a very good recommendation. That sounded incredible on this. And then, of course, I can't mention gaming without mentioning Elden Ring that I'm currently into. Um, man, I can get my ass kicked and sound so good playing this headphone. It's awesome. So gaming and movie listening kind of goes hand in hand on that. Um, you know, I think Michael Bay did have something to do with uh, the sound signature of this headphone because they do sound really, really good with movies. I personally don't really listen to headphones when I um, am watching movies, but I tried it with this just to see, and yeah, it sounded really, really good, something I would definitely recommend if you want to do that. But I would also say, uh, along with gaming, that don't let that take away from the fact that these do still sound really good with music as well. So I know some gaming headsets out there, not quite recommended for listening to music. That's not the case with this. In fact, these, of course, are a music headphone first, um, I think was the intention. It just so happens that gaming sounds incredible on them. So one other thing I'd like to do is a little bit of a AB comparison, uh, or I already did the AB comparison, and that is with the Zeus and the uh, Tiger 300R. Um, now, not quite fair because the Zeus is about twice the price of the 300 if you're just buying the headphone of the 300, but um, I think it is a fair comparison in the fact that these are both really good gaming headphones. So if you're somebody that's in the market for something gaming wise, um, I would say Tiger 300R is going to be more on the competitive nature of things. Um, you are not going to get uh, quite as much rumble. Um, it does extend a little bit better as well into the base. So, um, you know, if you're going to be, you know, doing shooters, things like that, Tiger 300R, I think is probably the recommendation there. Not to say it doesn't sound good on the Zeus, it's just, you know, the pinpoint nature of things might be a little more difficult with the rumble that you're going to get on the Zeus, depending on the game. Uh, but if you're looking to listen to music too, hands down the Zeus. Um, not to say these are terrible for it, they're just signatures a little bit weirder on the Tiger 300R, at least in my opinion. Uh, this was still the first headphone that I went to uh, when I first got into more of a hi-fi audio experience. So I will always have the Tiger 300R because I still love this headphone. I just love the Zeus a little bit more when it comes to gaming for my immersion experience. Um, and then power requirements wise, I would say between the two, probably about the same. Didn't really have any issues with either of these powering them. All right, so the last thing I wanna do here is uh, something I'm gonna try to do with some of my uh, headphone reviews, and that's um, just to give you kind of, kind of some song impressions uh, with the Zeus headphones. So I do have my notes in front of here. Um, so first one I have is for Dynamics, um, In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Um, you wanna talk about a song that does Dynamics uh, really, really well and is one to sample a headphone on. Zeus sounded fantastic on that. Um, there was no issues with the Dynamics being too low or too loud. Suddenly um, it handled it very, very well. Uh, for mid-range, 
Um, you know, I think the Zeus is a good headphone for rock and roll, for metal, things of that nature. Um, Avatar, the song Let It Burn. Uh, I love that song. Just, you know, the drum beat, uh, just the, uh, the riffs, the guitars, everything like that. Sounded fantastic on the Zeus. Um, there was no, I guess, um, any part of the song that was uh, unpleasant to listen to. Um, and then as far as speed and energy goes, uh, Daz Spiegel uh, by the Chemical Brothers um, is a song that's really good to test speed and energy for that decay and things like that that you're going to get. Now, I will say the Zeus definitely falls behind there of other high-end headphones. Uh, it still sounds good. It still does speed fairly well for a dynamic driver headphone, but this is where it's going to kind of creep up and show that this is a $350 headphone as opposed to, you know, some higher-end planars um, or even higher-end dynamics. And then... Soundstage, um, Ain't No Rest for the Wicked by Cage the Elephant. Um, I love listening to the live version of that song for my soundstage. Uh, and I think this handled it really, really well uh, when it came to soundstage. So another good example song if you want to check that out should you happen to get the Zeus. A few different vocals here to kind of uh, show the variation. So first one was a song Adele, um, Easy On Me. Not the song Adele. Um, the Easy On Me song by Adele, very uh, you know famous song, one that we're all probably are listening to, testing tracks out. And you know she has a lot of body in her voice and does it really well on the Zeus. So um, kind of to show off that mid range of where you do get the good mid range on the Zeus. And then I would say on a counter example of that, uh, the song um, by Jelly Roll, it's uh, Save Me, uh, another song I like to listen to. Now he was a little more pushed back. Um, he's got a beautiful voice, in my opinion, on the higher end, um, but that kind of shows the nature of the Zeus where it is um, taken back a little bit on that end of the spectrum for the frequency response, I believe. At least that's how I hear it. So um, just another example there. And then on another um, low-end vocalist, um, Johnny Cash, the song Hurt. That sounded really, really good on this headphone. And there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of things going on in that song, a lot of things with the, uh, the piano that you're gonna hear. I think it sounded fantastic on the Zeus and it was a joy to listen to. So just a few tracks to recommend to check out should you get to the Zeus. Um, maybe you can see if you agree, disagree, love to hear that. So that is gonna wrap up uh, another headphone video of mine. I um, hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoy the Zeus. I highly recommend them. As I said, I've had these for over a year and these have just held up really, really well. Um, so I think when it comes to something like that, if you're looking for a long, uh, long-term use headphone, the Zeus is going to be fine for you. Who do I think this is targeted for? Uh, it's a $350 headphone. That price point is very competitive. Uh, you've got the Tiger 300R that if you got that with the Fox mic, uh, maybe you're stepping up from gaming, getting out of a headset and wanting more of a, a single headphone with a mic solution. That's going to put you right in range and that's going to get you there for your gaming needs and have your uh, mic as well. Or maybe you're wanting to step up from something like the Tiger 300. That's where I think the Zeus comes in and is a, a really good progression uh, when it comes to that. Now, the Zeus is also priced competitive, competitively at $350 that it's right there with the Hi-Fi Man Sundara. Now, I have not personally listened to the Sundara. I do own the Aria Stealth. Um, so that's probably unfair to compare it to the Aria Stealth. Uh, but I will say for a Hi-Fi Man headphone, for a planar magnetic headphone, of course, the sound signature is going to be a little bit different there. Uh, the Sundara, uh, you know, if you want to know more about that, there's lots of guys out there doing uh, video reviews that have done video reviews on the Sundara. So check out the pros and cons of those. Weigh that with the pros and cons of the Zeus to make your decision there. Or maybe you already have a Sundara and you just want a different sound signature, um, such as the dynamic driver of the Zeus. Uh, that, of course, is up to you. I am going to Chicago Can Jam. I am super stoked about it. I'm only going to be able to go on Saturday, so... I will be there most of the day uh, with my wife to check it out. I cannot wait to see some different audio things out there and hopefully uh, bring some more ideas for my channel. So with that, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one.